I am going to start with my rice. It's just the organic California gluten-free brown rice. Um, and I have two cups of broth in here. I like to use broth instead of water because it just adds flavor and I don't have to add butter. And then I just add my one cup of rice. Okay guys, my rice came to a boil, so I'm just going to stir it once. And then I have my, put the cover back on, and my back burner on low so it can simmer. And I'm just going to leave it there for an hour. I love this. It is a crinkle cutter and one of the reasons I love it because I can let the kids use it because it doesn't cut you and it's not sharp at all. But if any of you cut butternut squash you know how hard they can be. It just slices the vegetables so easily. Yeah, it's just so cool. Okay guys, however you cut your squash, whenever you get to the seed part, just make sure you scoop all that stuff up and take it out and then just throw it away because you don't want that part in your soup. Let's cut up an onion. Here is my coconut milk and if you guys have never opened a can of coconut milk, when you open it, the top is always solidified like this but don't let it fool you. It's all liquid underneath. You just need to stir it up um, really good. But once it's all mixed up, it should just look like this. Uh, what you're going to do for the soup is three to four cups of water and just a little bit of sea salt in the water to bring the water to boil. Add in your squash and the onions. And then just pour in your can of coconut milk. And then you're just going to add nutmeg and cinnamon. And honestly, the nutmeg and cinnamon is just to taste. There's really no measurement. So I really don't even know how much I add in because usually I add in at this stage. And then I put a little bit more once I mix it. So I'm just going to mix that all together. And then I'm going to cover it and let it sit until the vegetables are soft. My vegetables are tender, so I removed it from the heat and let it sit for one or two minutes. It took about ten minutes. And then all I'm going to do now is just take my hand blender and mix. Okay, you just mix until it's well blended or however chunky you like it. And then I usually just taste test it to see if I need to add um, more cinnamon or nutmeg. But you know what? That is perfect. So we'll see you at the table. This is what's for lunch. We have the butternut squash soup. And I have my brown rice. And then I also made a salad with baby um, romaine, strawberries, and pine nuts. And then I just drizzled a little bit of raspberry vinegar on top. And I'm going to go eat with the family. If you watched my food vlog yesterday, you would know there are a lot of goodies around. 
and I didn't eat any of them, but today I am craving something sweet. So, I am going to make a Oreo cookie shake, because I am so wanting a dessert right now. Um, and all I'm going to do is take a tablespoon of the Oreo Jello, the instant Jello, and then two scoops of my Vi Shape uh, nutritional shake mix. And I already have a cup of almond milk in there and six ice cubes. So I'm just go going to go ahead and blend that and enjoy. Mm. You guys, this is so good. I had a craving for sweet yesterday. Didn't really know what I wanted. I just wanted a dessert. And this is hitting the spot. So yay. Actually, double yay. It's, it's getting rid of my craving. So my update for last Wednesday. I know I'm a couple days late and I'm sorry for that. But it's been crazy around here. And so I figured I'd just tag it along at the end of my uh, food vlog for today. Um, I did not lose any weight last week. You know, it could be from many reasons last week was not a good week for me. I didn't sleep all that well. Um, and then I know Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, um, we went out to eat. And I did make good choices when I went out to eat, but I know that stuff is filled with a lot more things and it has a lot more salt than I do use at home. Um, and I know that played a part in it. And then also I've been strength training for the past two, e two, two and a half weeks, so it could be muscle too. I don't know, but there's a lot of reasons <laughs> from last week and why not to lose weight. So I was bummed for about five minutes because I didn't see the scale move. But you know what? It was still all good because then I took my measurements and I was happy. Um, I lost one fourth inch off my chest, one fourth inch off of my waist, and I lost a half an inch off my hips. <laughs> and then I lost an inch and a half off of my butt. But you didn't hear that. Um, and so, you know. It was good. It was still a good week overall, and I also checked my BMI, and from the last time I checked it, it went down another point. So, things are still moving, and they're still going forward progressively, so it's all good. <laughs> I guess that's really all I have to say this week, so I hope those of you who don't usually see my food vlogs liked it, and I will see you guys next week with a regular update. And it's at the end of the month, too, so I will have pictures and stats on everything next Thursday. So, other than that, have a good night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. What are you doing,